And in further Biafra news, the IPOB, they've reacted that it is possible that the reason why the DSS might have failed to produce Mazin and the Kanu in court is the likelihood that he might have been killed. You see that? There is a likelihood that Mazin and the Kanu might have been killed. The statement was made by the IPOB spokesperson, Ima Powerful. He said that he hoped that Kanu has not been killed. It is also possible that the Nigerian government might have decided to kill Mazin and the Kanu just to prove that, you know, his actions uh, were legal. And when I say that in terms of if you want to kill somebody in a jungle justice style, then the question is, what are you hiding? And we have to ask these questions now. What exactly are they hiding? What is the Nigerian government hiding? That they cannot produce this man that has been on trial since 2015. This man has been on trial since 2015. And it is laughable that he comes to court and the courts, uh, the DSS is not bringing him to court when the judge or the federal high court judge has already made an order saying that you know he should be brought to court on a certain date and he wasn't brought to court. So it's very laughable that this is how they want to play this case. And this case should be out in public. Everybody should see what is, there should be camera crews in the, in the court seeing exactly everything that has transpired. It should be live on TV. America publicizes cases like O.J. Simpson's case on trial. It was live on TV. Everyone was watching it in the bars, in the clubs, everywhere. That is exactly how it should be for this case. This case should be live on TV. Everyone should have access to it. Everyone should see how the justice system works in Nigeria. This is Nigeria versus its justice system. And everyone must have an access to this. It doesn't make any sense that they are trying to hold on to the freedom of press. It doesn't make any sense.